What's up, Hippo Lovers? I hope you all have an enlightened and bright day. If not, I can help you. And we can take a look at the predictions of Red Bull Volo 3 and can go through the groups and what I think. For, um, format will be a bit different this time. We in the past had a single elimination bracket for the 16 players. This time we will have a GSL group stage, basically double elimination in the group. Two people advance and with the remaining eight players, we will go and play a normal single elimination bracket again. I underlined some of those players. Blue player made it into the semifinals last week. They all get their own group. Orange player were drawn to towards the blue player. They were the losers in the quarterfinals. And then we had two qualifiers mixed in there as well. And yeah, you see already some really interesting groups. Let's start it off with group number A. The first matchup is Mr. Yo against Velez. I see Mr. Yo with all his strong performances performing again. Velez even looked shaky, didn't didn't qualify in the first try there and I see Mr. Yo pretty strong then another Finn against Vivi I think the max with those settings should be really good had a lot of chances to now observe how Vivi is playing in the second qualifier and I think we'll be able to adjust which brings us to the winners match all happening like this round is happening this Saturday then the decider matches are, or not decider matches, elimination matches are happening on Sunday together with the winners matches. I see Veles eliminating Vivi there and I see Mr. Yo winning against the Max all happening on Sunday. And so Vivi out and then we have at least what I could predict the finish matchup there and that will be a best of five happening next Friday. There I see the max advancing. It is it is a tricky group. I don't think Vivi has to go out as fourth. I just think like Veles and the Max can train quite a bit. There is a price money jump from being fourth in the group and third in the group. So makes sense to take a W there. And obviously you still get the chance to go through. Which brings us to group number B. Doesn't feel like the most fair group, I would say. Liri having his opening match against Danny. I think this is going to be a brutal clapping. Although Daniel obviously did some clapping himself in the first qualifier there. Winning 4-0 against Chris to qualify. Taylor against ACCM. Could be summoned for ACCM, but I think Tato should be should be well prepared. Which brings us to the elimination match. Daniel against ACCM. And... I kind of feel that Daniel might not even win a single map here, but still qualified and big, big performance there, just making it to the stage. I hope he will surprise me. I don't see it too likely. ACM looked really strong as well. And in the winner's match, I see Leary even 2 0 and Tado there. It just feels like Tado and. Doesn't really have the answer to the Hera Leary playstyle that we saw in 2020. I hope, obviously, for him that the series is closer than what I fear. And then we have the decider match next Friday, and I see Tato advancing against ACCM there. Which brings us to group number C. It's truly really interesting one. I think we saw Winchester Nikov last time. Maybe I should have done my research there with Nikov going through. I think so. And this time, opening match, Hera against Back T. I'm seeing Hera really strong on those settings. Back T look kind of shaky. Don't see him taking too much there. Nikov against Winchester. I did hype it as one of the great sets last time, but then it was kind of one sided for Nikov. I will just predict something similar here, although Winchester looked strong in the qualifier. Then Back T, Winchester. I did say Winchester's out here after two games or two sets. I think he can win against Nikov and against Back T. It's kind of 50 50, I would say. So, yeah, don't quote me on that one. Winner's match, I see Hera going through undefeated. And in the decider, 
I see Nikov still making it into the quarterfinals, which brings us to probably the most exciting group, group number D. And we have some storylines there. And let's see what the opening match is going to be. We have Viper MBL. That's going to be banger happening this Saturday. And I think the Viper will take it to zero. It can easily be MBL. But I don't see MBL preparing any crazy strategies. And if we just play meta, I think Viper won't be caught off guard. And Viper can put an ISO map out there if he is actually falling. So I think it's impossible that MBL wins 2-0. That's what he said. So, and then we have Doubt against Capot with some weird numbers maybe could have adjusted those i would go for a 2-0 for doubt could easily be a map win for capot on his home map i see doubt as a solid favorite obviously he will be well trained although capot well he will have teammates as well daniel and back t in his team and i think they will be very motivated so can easily take a game i don't think it will be enough to take the set though then the elimination match Capwatch MBL and the crazy storyline that I said was simply because that was one of the best series of 2020, providing clearly the best game of 2020 there. Capwatch MBL, Ripple Volulo 2, game number 5 was just insane. And let's see what happens this time. Last time everyone had MBL as the favorite. Capwatch did perform incredibly well, did take it. This time, I think MBL will take him more seriously, will train more, will take the tournament more seriously, will accept that Empire Wars is different to RM. One of the above. And then we have the winners match out against Viper. That's going to be an ugly one, obviously. Neither player really wants to face each other there. And then we actually get potential to the set that I'm most excited about in the whole group stage. It could be MBL versus Doubt. And honestly, the thing is, the first four matches of the group are happening Saturday, Sunday. And then they have five days to train and will face each other on Friday to play this best of five. I think if e either player knows, okay, I will play for my tournament life and a big jump. And then can face another one and can make it deep into the tournament. So they'll get five days to train. I think the, the decider matches will have the highest level. Because like you can five days specifically train for your one opponent and can prepare strategies, can prepare home map, know exactly what's coming. And MBL doubt. It could be a 3-1 for either side. It could be 3-2 for either side. Um, that, that's the beauty. And I, I, I hope I can cast that. But I, I'm certainly watching that one. That's my absolute favorite match potentially. And yeah, after that, obviously, eight players, single elimination, best of fives with the final best of seven. Coming your way, visit Red Bull Channel. We will see you there. Goodbye, Apple lovers.